Boys and girls, we're going to talk a little bit about Matisse today. He was in a group called the Fauves for a while, which is French for wild beast, and that's because they painted with just colors that you wouldn't see normally, like people with green faces and, uh, you know, red eyes and crazy colors like that, wild beast colors. Um, eventually, he uh, got interested in a lot of patterns and uh, wallpaper patterns and curtain patterns and tablecloths, and so he started painting all these windows looking out upon the world, and uh, he had lots of uh, interesting things in his rooms and also interesting places to look out upon. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at some of his paintings, and we're going to uh, get some inspiration, and then I want you to design your own room and uh, really think about what you want the inside of your room to look like and also where you want to be living, where do you want to look out upon, um, and uh, we'll be doing that over the next couple days. So you want to think about uh, what kind of room you would want to have, um, and those are the kinds of things that you're going to put around where your window is and then where do you want your room to be looking out onto. So we're going to start by just doing a window for um, our room and um, you can have the curtains. I'm going to have a breeze kind of blowing in. So you're going to see a little bit of movement there, but you could have them just hanging straight. Put a little rod on there. If you want, you could put a piece of the window sill on there. And then below it, um, you know, there were lots of things that Henri Matisse liked to have in his room, so you could have those or you could decide to have something else. I could put that fishbowl in there. All right, so I've uh, created a pattern on my curtains and on my wallpaper and I've created some things that I want to have in my room and now we have to decide what we want to be looking out upon. So I decided about a nice beach scene and you want to have uh, the same things that you would normally have in a landscape. You want to have your foreground, your middle ground, and your background and it's going to rise up in uh, as you go up in your composition. So you could start by maybe putting a little beach chair in here and, and you may want to do some sketching with pencil first so that you can get that just right but I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in so we've got that little chair there those short little stubby legs okay so that would be in my foreground and then I think I'm going to draw Oh, a little sand pail here, and a spade stuck in a little mound of sand. So that would be the elements in the foreground, and then here's my middle ground where the waves are. I'm going to have the great big ocean along here. One thing to keep in mind with crayons is that you can actually blend crayons in together. So I use that blue and now I have this nice green color that I'm going to come in give it that ocean color. 
and as you uh, get higher in the atmosphere you will see it get darker so I'm going to start up here and be real dark and I'm going to come down and just lightly put that in there Maybe I want to have a couple seagulls up in the sky. A little sign going over in the air. And uh, now we're done.